I was 16 years old when I started fighting fire. You know, the year I joined fighting fire was 2004. And that was one of our last mega wildfire years in the history of the past 20 or so years. I, I knew at a young age that that meant something, that there was, there was purpose for this job and something to be, be proud of. And I really thought that this is something that I want to be a part of. It must have been pretty good back then because, you know, 18 years later, here I am. And, and uh, yeah, I'm loving every minute of it. Started back in 2013, not really knowing what I was getting into. I was working carpentry at the time, and the project manager came up to me and asked me if I wanted to be a wildland firefighter. I was like, what kid doesn't grow up wanting to be a firefighter or a policeman? I thought that at the time and with the information provided that if I wanted to succeed as a type one wildland firefighter, then I needed to do it with the government uh, instead of with First Nations. It was a really hard thing for me looking back on that like that was, that was the mindset that was there back then. But at that point in my career, was looking at where First Nation contracting was and, and where government was. And I felt like if it was done a certain way and it was operated a certain way and we had the support that we needed, that we could change things. So I did take an opportunity with the Tongatron First Nation Development Corporation. Next thing I know, I was the crew leader of XY Charlie Crew. You know, I had a very aggressive fit wildland fire crew that was eager to learn. And with the experience that I had at the time, we quickly became that go-to fire crew. We started asking why you know, every First Nation in the Yukon only had one wildland fire crew, and why weren't there more. And we, we started looking into other options and what we, could, what we could accomplish. And that really started to develop into this really neat thing. Beat the Heat is a week and a half wildland fire boot camp, and it's set out to test people in multiple ways, both physically, mentally, built up by firefighters, for firefighters, by First Nations, for First Nations. For Beat the Heat, we had to start with the basics. So the absolute bare minimum, uh, the certifications that you would need to be a firefighter. From there, we just grew. I had a few friends who, uh worked for the company and I'd always wanted to try wildland firefighting. I signed up and went from there. Found out about Beat the Heat with word of mouth as well as posters. I was hopping between jobs a lot and then and then I, I saw an ad for Beat the Heat and I applied and I got in and, uh, and I loved it. I was a little nervous, I think you always are when you start a new job. Just walking in and seeing the sea of potential firefighters. It was overwhelming, but it was exciting. Even the, the name boot camp is like, it's pretty intimidating. It was all a lot of hands-on and a lot of bookwork mixture, right? So I'd never done anything like that. Did it exceed my expectations? Cause you just learned so much that you wouldn't expect. We train them for more than just fire. Uh, we're really prepping these people for their futures. Any, any skills that you learn going through Beat the Heat, you can use in any other job. Just getting to where you have to be on time that, uh, that goes a long way. Shared experiences always bring people together, right? And you're, you're doing a lot of, you know, coursework, you gotta study the theory and the practical side of it, but you also get out into the field. And I mean, firefighting by its nature, you gotta work as a team. So you either buy into that and play as a team player, um, or maybe it's not the job for you, but everyone there, we're all kind of on the same page. The hardest part of Beat the Heat would be mental discipline, self-discipline, and just pushing yourself forward to be capable of the training process as well as knowing what we're gonna be up against in the future. The standout memories for me in Beat the Heat would have to be Fit Test Day. It's pretty amazing to, to watch these people put themselves through, through hell. The Fit Test is, is pretty hard. I don't care where you come from or who you are. It's, uh, it's designed to test you and it's designed to break you. And to watch these people break through that wall and succeed in something that in the moment, you can see it in their eyes. They don't think that they can do it. You can see 
the fear of failure and to watch them get over that is it's pretty amazing. You go there and it's like fit test day and you're watching all, all your friends run this fit test and like literally dying and like throwing up and just having the worst time of their lives. You're sitting there, you're like, not a chance. Nuh-uh, I can't do this, this is crazy. Like, why is this a thing? Why are we doing this? And then like they talk to you about this mental wall that you have to climb and break through and not only test your body, it tests your mind. So once you like break through this mental wall, then you're set. When you're kind of on the line and you're in a job like this where you have such a cut and dry standard that you have to meet, when you pass it, it's, it's a really good feeling. Beat the Heat, it's, it's grown exponentially. We started this company with three employees. Our first training camp, before it was called Beat the Heat, had four participants, and now we're looking at class sizes of up to 100, and we employ upwards of about 85 people every year. It's uh, pretty amazing to see. Felt that it made me feel like we were going on the right track of what we set out to do, and that was inspire our youth, make them into warriors. Being able to control and manipulate fire is a very powerful thing. And it's something that First Nation people have been doing for thousands of years. We used to take care of the land as stewards of the land. We have a responsibility. One thing that kind of like brings firefighters together too is we're all kind of like in on this well-known secret together, but it's hard to like actually describe the emotion that you feel when you're actually out there doing it. It's inherently a risky job. And uh, if you go in and hit a risky situation and you do your job well and safely and get out the other end, then we're all kind of bonded by that experience. I could not have asked for a better corporation to be a part of because they have grown me and molded me. I'd have no idea where I would be if it weren't for Beat the Heat. I'd probably still be bouncing between jobs. Wouldn't have all the friends and brothers and sisters that I have now, you know, and, and all the connections I've made, all the confidence I've built, all the skills I've acquired. This is literally what's gotten me to where I am. Well, I think the core of Beat the Heat will always be the same, and that's to inspire and electrify young First Nation youth. I think that really is who we are. I'm just very humbled that I was able to be a part of a small bit of it. And we have a great team, we have a great family here, and I think that people recognize that and they're gonna work hard on those crews and to be, you know, future leaders. One of the best wildland fire boot camps in the country. And we're gonna to continue to make it better and, and evolve it and do whatever we can to continue to be one of the leaders in wildland fire in the country. Great thing to be a part of, I think.